Welcome back Kings. In this tutorial I am going to show you the most effective way to model a car in Blender. I try to keep it as simple as possible so even if you are a beginner you can easily follow along with this tutorial. If you really want to learn how to model a car in Blender, I am currently working on a full step by step course on how to model a car in Blender. If you don't want to miss this, keep your head up and you will be the first one to know when it's ready. And now let's start with the tutorial because we don't have time to waste. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am using the Ford Mustang, but it does work with every car. I already have set up the blueprints. If you don't know how to do this, watch my other video on how to set up the blueprints to model a car. Now if you are at this point, the first thing that you have to do is to press Shift and A, head over to Mesh and add in a cube. Now if you rotate the view and go into the solid mode by pressing Z, press the tab key to go into the edit mode, press A to select all and now we can press M and merge this cube at the center. Now what's left is only one single vertice. Then again, head over to the side view by pressing numpad 3 and take this vertice by pressing G and move it to a point right here. Now from here on, you can press numpad 7 to go into the top view and I actually have placed this vertice on the perfect line that we needed but if your vertice should be around this point, just take the vertice and move it down to the line of the hood. Now the next thing that you're going to do is to look up where the hood from the car ends. In this case for this Mustang it is right here. So take this vertice, press E to extrude it and place it to the point where the hood ends. Now we're matching the line of the hood in two points. And now in order to match the line of the hood correctly, press Shift and R and add about three vertices right here. And take these vertices and move them down to the line of the hood, like this. To make this perfectly, Select all of the vertices that we have placed already, press right click, head over to loop tools and press on space. By this the space between the vertices is perfectly lined out. So now we have placed the vertices correctly in the top view. Now head over into the front view by pressing numpad 1. Now from here on, we have to match the vertices with the line of the hood like we did in the top view. And now to make sure that everything is fine, head over to the side view by pressing numpad 3 and take a look from the side view and judging from the side view if we zoom in the vertices are not quite matching the line but as it looks good from the top and from the front view we will leave it like this. Now the next thing that we're going to do is to search for a new line where we can place our vertices on. In this case I'm going to take this line right here. So first I'm going to select this vertice right here and extrude it once to this point right here. And now again, this vertice is matching the top view, so I have to take a look from the side view. And I can't quite see where this vertice needs to be. So let's see if we can see it better from the front view. And we do not see it here either. We only see that it needs to be a little bit more down to a point right here. But this is actually a really important part in modeling a car. No matter how good your blueprints are, there are some sections of the car that you will never see where you have to place the vertices because the blueprint will never show these specific areas of the car. So actually I have just to guess where this vertice needs to be. Then from here on, you have to take this vertice and extrude it once to right here. And I extruded this vertice to a point right here, because you can now take these four vertices and we could create a face right here. But if I would have taken this vertice to a point right here and then to here, we would have five vertices right here and we could not create a quad. So undo this, because this is not good modeling, and leave it like this. Now take this vertice right here and extrude it all the way to the end of the hood. And now again press Ctrl R and add in some loop cuts, scroll on your mouse wheel and add in 5 loop cuts. Now the next step should be really clear. You have to take all of the new created vertices and match them from the top view to the blueprint line of the hood. Once they are matched up in the top view, head over to the side view and match them up. And now the last step for this vertice is to take a look from the front view. And like you can see, every vertice is a little bit more up than the blueprint line, so let's take all of these vertices and move them a little bit down to a point right here. Once you've reached a point like this, the next step you have to do is to add in a mirror modifier. So head over to add modifiers, generate and mirror. The mirror modifier will automatically be set to the x-axis, the only thing you have to change is to enable clipping. Now you can close this up. Now I can take all of these vertices right here, press E and then X to extrude all of these vertices all the way to the middle on the X axis. 
and we can move this a little bit on the y axis to a point right here and we can add one vertice right here now we can take a look from the front view to see the blueprint slam better we can go into the right frame mode by pressing z and now we can take all of these vertices move them up to the blueprint line take all of these vertices and move them up to the blueprint line take a last look from the side view and this is looking really really good now head over to the top view and let's fill in these faces take these four vertices and press f take these four vertices and press f take these four vertices and press f and take these four vertices and press f now there's only one area left to create all of the hood take this vertice extrude it to a point right here head over to the side view move this vertice down take this vertice and extrude it to this point right here at the headlight head over to the top view and move the vertice now we have to add here the same amount of vertices like we have on the left side so take all of these vertices right here and now you have to count them so it is six vertices so we have to add six vertices right here and the next step is to again match the vertices with the blueprint line now match the vertices from the side view as well and use loop tools on all of these vertices now back in the front view you can take this vertice right here and extrude it to the headlight right here and you can connect these two vertices by pressing f and in the top view you can take this vertice and move this a little bit on the y axis to a point right here and now once again the blueprint is lacking a line around this area right here so we have just to guess where it is first thing we have to do is to create a vertice right here and slide this a little bit down then we have to create a loop cut right here and we can actually leave it in the middle right here now take all of these vertices right here press E and then X to extrude it only on the X axis now deselect this vertice and select it again so it becomes right press period and change the pivot point to active element and now we can press S and then X to scale this on the X axis to a point right here then head over to the side view and move all of these vertices down to a point right here now we can take these four vertices and press F and you can take these four vertices right here and press F now in the top view select these four vertices and press F select these two vertices and press F all the way to the end and you can actually take these four vertices and press F again then you can create a loop card right here again select this vertice right here as the active element in the top view you can press S and then X to scale this a little bit on the X axis to a point right here and also in the top view you can press S and then Y to scale it on the Y axis to a point right here and in the side view you can press S and Z to scale this a little bit down to a point right here now the last step is to take these four vertices and press F and to take these two vertices and press F and now take a look at the hood and this looks already really really good to finish up the hood let's create a loop cut right here and then press E to orientate the loop cut on the right side and move it to a point right here to match the blueprint line and again create a loop cut right here and just leave it in the middle now press 3 to go into the face selection mode take these faces right here and press i to insert the faces to a point right here now press 2 to go into the edge selecting mode deselect this edge and select it again so this becomes the active element head over into the side view and press s and then z to scale this in the z-axis to a point right here and now to keep this tutorial simple we can just take this face right here and press x and delete the face and i know that this is not really what it looks like on a real car but just to keep the tutorial simple we will leave it like this and by watching this video my king you have learned the most effective way to model a car in blender now this may seem really hard at the beginning but trust me if you do this quite some time it becomes really really easy now go ahead and start right into learning this method the first lesson for you is to model the car of your father and do not hesitate to show me the results via discord see you soon